of Dallas. Warriors. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, if you touch the ball out of bounds, that's Warrior ball. They're going to correct Andy Nagy there. <laughs>Help was just on the wrong side. All right, I'm going to throw some math at you here. The Warriors are 27 of 36 on twos, 75% shooting, but 9 of 29 on threes. This would be the night to really look for those twos in attacking. Yo, what is going on? Uh, Dallas they, decided not to guard their own so, basket. That is... <laughs> That's they, going they on were, Shaq of the Fool right there. They were all on the wrong side. That, that's their basket. That's the Warriors' basket. We just saw Jordan Poole dunk on that side. <laughs> and, and the Mavs line up to defend on the wrong side. Look at so, this. Jordan this is like, the Warriors' basket in the second half. There's no Maverick defenders. Looney's like, hey, thank you very much. This is I've never seen this in my life. Welcome to Shaq and the Fool. They were all lined up to defend on the wrong side. We just showed you the Buick drive of the game where Poole it was drove on to side. that basket. It was right in front of us. That counts. When there is defenders there, Warriors are showing they can get inside. A little Hakeem. A lot. Look at so this. This, this, this is like the Warriors basket in the second half. There's no Maverick defenders. Looney's like, hey, thank you very much. This is I've never seen this in my life. Welcome to Shaq and the Fool. They were in Dallas tonight. That's Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. He says he's going to protest tonight's game because the refs messed up. Here's the play in question. The Mavericks thought it was their ball, but it wasn't. So the Warriors are going to inbound the ball. You see Jordan Poole there inbounding the ball. The Mavs were on the other end of the court, and the Warriors ended up with a quick two points with no one defending them. A lot of confusion here. You see Jason Kidd wondering what's going on. Bottom line. The refs gave the basket to the Warriors. Mark Cuban tweeted late tonight, this might have been the worst non-call in NBA history. Um, I, mean, I was down there, I was on the bench, I think, and uh, saw the ref point our direction for the ball and then there's a, a point the other way towards their bench to call a timeout. Loon actually got a little confused at first because, you know, um, he didn't hear the whistle for the timeout. But after that, it was pretty clear it was our ball and nobody from their side went down to get it because it was, you know, whatever it was. And probably the easiest two points Loon's ever had and the easiest assist JP's ever had. But, um, it was weird, but it was clear what was going on from our standpoint.